Okay, here's the continuation of the fingering tutorial. Finger, yes. By now, if you watch the first one, you should be able to relatively play this all right, hopefully pretty well. I'm going to show you the two endings. This one. And also this one. And this is neat. This is neat. I'm going to have the little annotation things going on about somewhere in this range while I'm playing. That's cool, man. Whoa. So anyways, I will call this the, uh, the verse riff, so to speak, because it's continuously played during the verse. Wait, but what about this riff? That is the chorus, or the refrain, not the verse. Anyways though, so you play the verse riff once. verse riff, what I just played right there. So, verse riff once, and then ending one. So the fingering for this is you want to put your middle finger, it's kind of like playing an A minor, or an A major, or it's like playing an A minor. Same fingering for an A minor, you just take your pointer finger off. So for those who don't know what that is, you take your middle finger, you put it on two on the D string. D string. And then you use your ring finger since it's you know it's already right there, right after your middle finger. You put that on the two that's on the G string. And you don't have to put any finger on the B string. And you just play it. Ascending, descending. And when you do that, that's pretty simple, that little transition, because all you have to do is lift your ring finger up and put your pointer finger on one, on the G string. So it's just from that two, one, so two with my, two with my, uh, two with my ring finger to one with my pointer, but I'm keeping my middle finger on the two on the G. I know that might sound confusing, but with the annotations it will be easy to follow. So, let's see if I can play this slow enough so I can add annotations to it. Second ending, this. So yeah, after, okay. To play that, it's like playing a B, I guess. Or actually, you take take the fingering that you use for that B minor, which is um, see this chord in the verse, this chord, this chord, that that chord, the, the one that you play when you go. Same, that's called the B minor. Okay, memorize that. It's important. <laughs> but anyways, though, but all you have—it's easier than a B minor, though, because you don't have to use your uh, middle finger or pinky at all. You just gotta you, you keep your pointer finger and your ring finger on those two strings. So I'll go over it real slowly. Pointer finger on two on the A string. ring finger on four on the D string and then it is 
and I'll have the little annotation things going on, so I'll play it slowly. And then and you gotta put your pinky, put your pinky on four on the B string. So to play the entire the entire intro, all you have to do is play the, the verse riff. thing I noticed is if you listen very closely to the recording, the first time they play the verse riff and that first ending, it sounds different than when they play play it again. And how I think they do that actually is they start playing like, they, they actually play on a different spot on around here. Because notice how the tam not timbre, well the, uh, it sounds different. For example, as opposed to so that they may, they might start This tutorial and the Radical Dreamers Fingering Tutorial 1, you should be able to play the entire verse, I mean, not verse, the entire intro until she starts singing the... That part? Yeah. So, uh, tell me how that goes, and maybe I can teach you guys the rest. I'm not sure. Okay. Peace.